Hi, this is Casey Imeshauser, uh, the open source product owner for OpenLS Global. And I'm here to show you about installing and using the Quant Studio 3 Analyzer plugin. So here you can see that you can find information on our docs page about uh, how to work with plugins in general. So uh, you can see here the steps are fairly straightforward. The plugins must be compiled into a jar file. The jar file must be uploaded into the plugin directory. And then uh, that's it. Once you've got it in there, you can open it up from the results menu within OpenLS Global. If you want to know where to find the repository that contains the plugins, you can go ahead and go to this repository, OpenLS Global slash OpenLS Global dash plugins. You might notice this is the root directory for the 1.0 version, but many of these are the 2.0 uh, plugins. The Gene Expert, the MindRay, and the Quant Studio are all relatively new. So here you can find the Quant Studio plugin where you can compile it. And then, um, you're able to actually do an analyzer run setup from within OpenLS. So here we'll select uh, Quant Studio 3, which is the same format as Quant Studio 5, the 96 well option, and the only test right now that it's configured for is COVID-19 PCR. We can set positive and negative control samples through this interface. And you can see this is the entire plate. Then we can search for uh, COVID-19 tests either by uh, first and last name or by searching with the lab number. So if this were an actual lab, we could uh, highlight this in lab number, scan the barcode and enter it that way. So you can see here I have found one uh, COVID-19 PCR test, uh, and I'll just add it a second time so that we've got four of our wells configured. And of course, in um, an actual production environment, this would, uh, uh, this plate would be full before we went on to the next. All right, so we found a couple of orders. As you saw, if there's not a COVID-19 PCR test, it will show up and it will say, uh, no, uh, you know, test could not be found just like that. All right, so we've got a few things in there. We can go ahead and click Save Experiment, which goes ahead and saves it in uh, that setup. Uh, you can resume partway through. Now we're going to go ahead and go over to Download Experiment File. This gives us uh, the CSV with the plate setup that we just finished. So I'm just going to save this uh, somewhere that it can be accessed by the computer attached to the analyzer or put on a USB stick, something like that. Uh, then specifically in the format for Mauritius, this is a printable, uh, printable protocol sheet that allows uh, a paper log of, uh, of this process. Now we've switched over to the Quant Studio design and analysis software and we're going to set up our new experiment. In our new experiment, we want to import the samples that we just set up. So we go to File, Import Plate Setup. We're going to browse for that CSV that we completed on the OpenLS side. Uh, it starts out showing us text files, so I'm just going to switch this file type to CSV. And here we go. Uh, the 96 well plate setup that we've got. You can see OpenLS very conveniently uh, date stamps those for us to make things a little bit easier. Okay, we're going to apply that plate setup. We're going to go over to the plate and see if it came through. Yep, that's the control positive, control negative, and here's the full sample number uh, for each of the wells that we uh, populated. So next, of course, uh, we're going to run the analysis. This isn't connected to a real analyzer, so we can't uh, actually run it. We're going to change the file export type to text. And we're going to click browse here and make sure that we are saving this 
into the shared folder that OpenLS Server is configured uh, to look at. So after that, we can select auto export if we want at the end of running a experiment. We click save. Again, uh, make sure that that is uh, that shared folder. And that's it. The results will show up now in OpenLS. And finally, we'll go back to OpenLS and see the results imported into the system. We can log in, go up here to results, go to analyzer, select the Quant Studio 3 analyzer. Uh, I had previously imported this result, which has a few more than just our one test, but here it is. You can see the test, uh, the result, And uh, yeah, you can click save on all of these, and then the result is recorded in OpenLS. So I'm going to go ahead and save for the one that we'd set up, and that's it. The result has been saved and has been moved on to validation. So that's about it for how to specifically use the Quant Studio integration with OpenLS Global. Go ahead and see a link at the end of the video for a link to how to install that plugin and specifically how to configure the scripts that move those flat files from where we saved the Quant Studio output into the OpenLS system. So go ahead and link to that uh, right now. Uh, if you have any questions, please go ahead and give us a shout, uh, either in our forums or uh, by email. All right. Thanks a lot.